in the chest press level eight exercise, you're going to now be doing uh, what most know as the bench press, although you're going to learn in this video a very specific way to execute the bench press. And let's go through that step by step. So go ahead and drop that weight back. First of all, it is important where the feet are stabilized. This bench has some arms that come out and are spreading Matt's feet a little wider than normal. Most benches will be a little more narrow. The feet won't be as wide. Regardless, it's okay, especially for Matt's height. The thing that's important and that you want to get is that the knees are at about 90 degrees and that the feet are flat. Now, if you're bench pressing a tremendous amount of load, which you're probably not going to be doing in a biomechanical optimization phase, then um, you would want to tuck the feet a little bit more where you have quite a bit of knee flexion, this joint angle there. So you're going to have about 110 degrees. You're going to actually slide back really far. You have tucked the feet even further and then you'd position yourself into that. And the reason why you do that and the reason why you see Olympic level powerlifter bench presses, world class level guys do that is because it helps eliminate this huge uh, arch or hyperlordosis that they can do in their lower back. They can do that at a greater level if their legs are like here. So when they start lifting a huge load, it eliminates that. Probably again, not gonna be into that, but wanted to add that little caveat there. So what we're gonna do is have 90 degrees in the knees, feet totally flat. Very important, the pelvis stays in a neutral pelvic position. Now, when you unrack the bar, very important. What we're gonna do is we're going to do this exercise um, started with a scapular stabilization position. So that means retraction, depression, and scapular external rotation, which would look like this if you're looking at the bottom of mat. So take the bar, pull up towards the bar, retract and depress your scapula, pin it, straighten the elbows, and then lift the bar off. So exactly, let's do that one more time. So row up, pull up, higher, good, hold, tuck the scapula, position back down, get rid of the lower back arch, a little less, a little less, good. Straighten the elbows out to lift the bar, unrack. That's the way you want to unrack. For your bar path during the eccentric action, go ahead and come down. This is the eccentric action. You're going to come to the upper, upper abdomen or lower chest area. So Matt's areola is right about there. The bar's right there. So that's a good placement. Could be a little bit higher, but sometimes it's hard with that scapular stabilization position. Push back up and the concentric action where the muscles are shortening is going to come back towards eye level. It does not need to come all the way back towards eye level, but it should at least come back towards the neck. So if you're looking at an aerial view and you're watching the bar path of a bench press, down towards the lower chest, that's a little too low. There you go. And then come back up, back up towards the neck or eye level. That's the bar path that you wanna make happen. Now on this chest press level eight exercise, after you've done that for one rep, we're going to reach and scapula protract. Go ahead and hold that position for me, Matt. The thing that you do not want to do is smash and roost your head into the back of the bench. For most people, not all, it'll create some extensor strain in the cervicals. So it's not a good idea, especially if you're lifting a lot of load, to push your head really strong off the back of the bench. Great way to develop a headache and different strains in the extensors but you are going to protract, reach out as far as you possibly can without smashing the head really strong into the back of the bench. Then you're going to come down into scapular stabilization position and you have to really watch that lower back because it's gonna to wanna to arch, but you do not want it to arch. You gotta keep that neutral pelvis. So you're gonna reach, come back to scapular stabilization position, keep a neutral pelvic position as you do, no lifting from the lower back. And then in real time, let's do the next rep. So we're gonna come down into eccentric action to the lower chest. We're gonna lift back up to about neck level to eye level. And when we're done with that concentric action, we're gonna do a protraction. And then back into scapular stabilization position. Let's do one more rep. Good, and stop. So do the eccentric, concentric when you're done. That's the only point where you're gonna let the scapula come out of scapular stabilization position, go into protraction, bring it back to scapular stabilization position, and before the elbows unlock, make sure everything is set, scapular stabilization position, neutral pelvis, complete the next rep. So that's the way you're gonna do all of your reps on this. 
let's go ahead and go back. And that's the way you do a biomechanically optimized bench press.